Over it's been out here now at Lumen Field now, signed with the Sounders. Uh, what has this offseason been like and where are we at right now mentally? No, it's been physically very tough, you know, like coming in off a long break and then you have to get in through fitness, you know, it's been tough. I've been pushing myself. I just want to get ready for the season, you know. How was the year last year with Tacoma to find prepared for now officially signing with the first team? Whether you play with the first team this year or get more time down there, uh, how did that help you last year? I think the coaches gave me a lot of confidence, you know, making that jump from the academy up to the second team and then the first team, just you just need that support system that gives you confidence, you know, believes in you, trusts in you, and they keep pushing you to do more. I think that's what prepared me for this for this moment. You mentioned the coaching staff there. Talk to us about Wade Weber and what specifically, what, what kind of traits he helped grow you. You know, always push me. You know, I did good. He always wanted me to do better. He wanted to push me. And then especially the one, the most important thing for me was the confidence he gave me. He always believed in me, even though I had a, like a bad game, you know, bad moments. He, he always believed in me. He said, just keep going, keep working, believe in yourself, and you'll get it done. How would you describe your game? I think I'm very, I'm a player that works a lot. I like to attack and defend, you know. I want to win the ball back, but also create for the team and go forward. What position do you most see yourself in? I think I see myself most playing the 8, 6. I can also play a 10, but that's all up to the coaches, you know? Uh, do you feel uh, already comfortable either with the senior players uh, to, to go out there and, and maybe get some tips and consoles? Do, do they walk up to you maybe or do you walk up to them in training? Yeah, no, they've been really supporting ever since I came here. They gave me tips. They said, be yourself, don't, don't be nervous, and you know what to do. So. That's really all they've, they've said to me. They haven't been like bad or mean or anything. They've been really welcoming. What's, what's the mentality like in terms of learning and wanting to develop, up, but also kind of looking for your moment and hoping it gets here soon? Can you repeat that again? Uh, how do you balance wanting to, to succeed and kind of get your moment, but also giving yourself time to develop and learn from the team and from the game? I think just being in here every day, that's that's the most important thing, that, that being around the first team players against that intensity, that um, atmosphere, that's what develops you. And then once you get that jump into the into the field, then you should be ready. You know, not a lot of, I don't, I don't know if there's any MLS players from Alaska right now uh, other than you. Uh, what was your journey, like how did you end up here? What was the, the pathway to, to Seattle? Um, my dad, he was always very passionate about the sport. He always, we always went to the field, we played, and his dream was always to be a pro soccer player, and I guess I just followed those footsteps, and once I turned 14, there was no more future in Alaska. There's no pro teams, there's no nothing. So they said, you, you have to make the jump, and uh, Seattle gave me the opportunity here. I joined their academy, and I just didn't look back since. So was your dad just like sending tapes to the Sounders Academy? Like, how did they like? Oh, so you're... Was there like a tryout, or how did that? Uh, how did that I go? I did ODP, or it's called the EPD here, something like that. Um, I went to Arizona, and then there's like a region team there, and I went to the region te uh, team <laughs> camp, and the coach he he put my name here with the Sounders, and then I came and trialed after that here in the academy, and they gave me a spot on the team. And what's what's the soccer scene like in Alaska? Is there much youth soccer? Um, there, there's a couple clubs. There's like four or five clubs in the state. There's one that's affiliated with the Timbers, and we don't really have a lot of competition. So you play like the same team every weekend or whenever you get a chance. Really, it's not it's not something big. So did your dad grow up in Alaska too? Is my that dad, where he grew? My like dad that? and my mom are originally from Mexico. So you can imagine what it's like, the soccer for them. And he moved to Alaska to work, and then my whole family grew up there. They're still there, actually. So, yeah. What, what teams do they root for in Mexico? Uh, Monarcas Morelia, uh, Raul's old team. We were a big fan of them. And uh, America. So it's now being the teammate of Raul. It was amazing, you know, like when I was little, we would watch, uh, me and my dad watch Morelia, and he was a top goal scorer from Morelia. And once he made the move over here, and I was like, wow, that's crazy. And I remember the first game that I played with the Sounders, he scored the goal and I went right right behind him. This is just a very like special moment, you know. You talk about the story coming from Alaska. A couple of years ago when COVID kind of shut down everything and you went back there. What was what was that time like for you back in Alaska to to to, to get back and, and you know make sure that you were at your best when you returned down here? Uh, my whole family, we play soccer, so it was very easy for us to, you know, let's just go to the field, let's do what we can do. 
we don't we don't want to just sit around and and I I wasn't able to come back here for like nine months. The, the academy started training for three months before I was able to come back, and I was just feeling that like, oh, I'm not going to be ready. I'm not going to be ready. But I was ready when I came because I was working. I was working on my on my by myself with my family. So it was very easy coming in. And I, like I said, the confidence that they gave me, the the they pushed me. So they they got me ready. Did, did I hear correctly? You got called into a U, a U20 camp recently. Yeah, I got called into the U.S. Men's National Team U20 camp. And, Next and I, week, something like that. And it sounds like Mexico had also reached out to you about going to their camp, and you and chosen to. Is that accurate? I, uh, I didn't receive like any formal invite from Mexico. They they called my dad, but I didn't receive anything.